Yo, what's cracking, my YouTube viewers? This is for your reviews for one one. Coming back at you with a price possession, a new price possession. My other price possession was that Mayfix Batman. Now this guy might have just taken the spot of that. I mean, huh, man. I mean, just wait to what you see in store with with this video, with this item. It's my amazing. Okay, this, this thing is just great. Fantastic. This is the Mesco Deluxe Superman. I've waited two years for this. Just as long as the uh, Keaton Batman was announced. It's another one that's uh, going to be coming up shortly on reviews. So then you guys know, be ready for that. But... This guy, oh my god, I remember running during work, as I was working, right, it was no break time or nothing, I had made an excuse up to go to the bathroom, and I pre-ordered him. Fortunately, it was on Big Bad Toy Store. <laughs> I'm sorry, well, unfortunately, it was on Dorkside Toys. So that pre-order got canceled last November, because, obviously, they weren't going to ship it, they weren't going to get these items in, whatever. But I saw that his... Release date kept getting pushed back, pushed back, pushed back. I was getting very irritated with it. And I was always so tempted to cancel. I did not cancel. Until Dorkside Toys decided to, to screw everybody and it's just... Whatever. They they closed out. Whatever. I don't care. I don't even know what really happened there. Well, sorry for them. But... Ageless Geeks came through, man. They're local. They, they weren't even overpriced because I got a coupon with them using a... What was it? Daredevil 19 code? Or it's just Daredevil, actually. Um, check his videos out. He's actually a really good reviewer. I haven't seen him lately, though. But yeah, he's really good. Really good. Thank you so much. Shout out to you guys, Ageless Geeks. Shout out to Daredevil 19. If you ever see this, or if you even know who I am, it doesn't matter. <laughs> but, you know, thank you guys. Um, yeah, so Mesco Superman. I've been waiting a while for this guy. Good, good while. I was waiting for him. I was waiting for Bloodshot, which is very disappointing on the Bloodshot. I was pretty disappointed, honestly. I was waiting so long for that guy, and he just became out to be such a disappointment. But now seeing this, I'm so glad to say that I'm not disappointed at all with this figure, guys. He is awesome. Very, very nice. He's really tight from the uh, the shoulders. But let's just get the, let's just get right into that um, articulation segment, okay? So. You could hit the T-pose, but it's really tight up there. Okay? It's very good, but it's really tight. So I would just be careful with it. Oh, you see? Just push push down. Oh, my God. That's so tight. That's horrible. Oh, my Lord. That's that's so bad. Wow. Anyways, double-jointed elbows. You get your uh, swivel at the wrist. A little bit of a hinge, I think. I'm trying to figure out which way that hinge goes, actually. Where is it? Up and down. There we go. He's still pretty uh, tight from the box. I just opened him. He, he arrived today. Um, but uh, yeah, I was really happy to have received it. So glad they have it in stock. Anyways, app crunch goes all the way down. Goes all the way back like that. That's really, really good, especially for the fight, flight closing. Um, neck goes all the way up that far. That much down. Looks really good. I like that. Very good. Legs kick that far. Double jointed knees. Amazing. Uh, no boot cut. There is the swivel at the ankle. Actually pretty decent. Up and down. The split's about that much. That's really good too. Oh, crap. Uh, waist. Well, it's not a waist. It's an app twist right here. There is no waist twist, but it's up here. That's pretty good too. Not bad. That's pretty decent. The cape has wire on the sides. I wish it was like the Mesco. I mean, sorry, like the Mayfix. Mayfix has it really, really nice where it runs all through. I mean, I wish maybe the cape was a little bit bigger. Is I think the best one I've seen is the Mayfix Dark Knight Superman. It's so elegant how it flows. But, you know, it's whatever. It'll do. But, yeah, I wish they fixed that. Now, one huge complaint I'm going to have is that the cloth on this guy... I don't know if you guys, the camera's picking up. You see a little speck there? It's been, uh, yeah, it's been stitched pretty badly. It'd be a factory default, but there's like a little bit of cloth coming out of the sides. 
This is me right out of the box. He looks just like that. I'm like, crap. You just can't do it right, can you? Nobody can get it right. I don't know what it was or what it is. But yeah, you see another speck right here on his uh, abs. I hope you guys don't have this problem because I am having it all over this thing. And it's bothering me. I don't. I wanted it to be perfect, you know. I really wanted this guy to be perfect. But accessories, paint, it looks great. Now, if you open this, this is what it comes comes in, you see? Very nice. It kind of gives me the Action Comics vibe. He comes with a slew of things, man. I mean, a very, very nice amount of things. The bullet effect. Let's see, what the hell? Oh, yeah, there it is. There's a bullet effect right there for his chest. He comes with six different heads. So much kryptonite. It's an amazing figure. It's such a great buy. I mean, I don't see why it wouldn't be such a great buy. It's a fantastic item. You know? It's like that Wolverine that I had gotten from Mesco. That was a great Wolverine, man. He had so many nice heads and the articulation was good. I mean, everything's good about it. I don't, I don't really see a lot of complaints. I'd have to give it a solid 9. Just because of the... the the little cloth. I don't know what the heck's going on there. That kind of sucks, you know? I, I wish that didn't happen. But now, since we're done with the simple stuff there. Oh, he does, he does come with a stand and all. I'm pretty sure you guys saw um, the review to um, The Amazing. He's a great, great reviewer. So check him out. He has the whole details of this thing. I just thought I'd share with you guys briefly what's, what I got in. It's, it's, I've just been waiting for so long on this guy. So, you know, it, it's good. It's a good figure. Good figure. Cloth, terrible. Anyways, size comparison. Here he is. Next to the Serpenter from the G.I. Joe Wave. This Serpenter is huge. It's technically a 7-inch doll. 7-inch. And his material is very nicely done. I love it. But my god, he towers over Superman. That is a huge figure. This guy's this guy's seriously huge. Throw him off to the side. Next up, we'll have my one of my top favorites in my collection. My very small collection. It is the Mayfix Batman. These guys look so good together. Oh my god. And yes, they match up pretty well. The proportions are gonna be bigger. So obviously Superman's gonna look bigger, but it's actually the same height. But the proportions are different that's pretty much the only thing that's going on here yeah see that not bad man that's so cool next up we'll have boba fett obviously this is the black series they're going to be the smallest ones yeah very very nice yeah great superman figure i recommend you pick him up before he sells out somehow or some way that tends to happen all the time people are like ah, eh, whatever i'll just pass don't pass on it it's a great, great figure. Pick it up if you guys can. And, I mean, it be you either stick with this or you're gonna go and pay two hundred and fifty dollars for the Mayfix one, the Hush Mayfix Superman. It's another great figure, but I saw too many paint flaws and whatever, and I was just, I was done with it. I was tired. I had him. I owned him about two or three times, and I sold them all. It's just, <laughs> I I mean, when I saw this guy, I'm like, there's no way. There's no. It comes with better accessories. The the cloth is a terrible, terrible thing. But I'm pretty sure I'll see if I can get a replacement because, yeah, that that's not okay. But everything else, he's a solid, darn good figure. Very good. A 9. A 9. Just for the cloth and material, that sucks. Everything else, it's a solid 9. Pick it up, guys. That's all for me. I am out of here. See you later.